Hey everybody, Orfiol is here. Welcome back to some more Barrel Bashing Brigade. Last time, we went through a bit of Oresco, clearing out the mess and all that stuff, and this time, well, as you can see, I'm doing a little bit of cleanup around the world since, well, I like grinding and farming and wasting my time so that way you won't have to. Unless you want to. Alright then. My hopes are high for this one. So yeah, so this time we are going to be continuing our, our uh, side quest brigade. So, a thing I want to note going forward though is that last episode, everything seemed to flow really well in terms of side quests. Not so much the case heading forward. Alright, there is a uh, one last thing down below. So yeah, so anyways, how I was able to get super high levels really fast was from Marins. I was finding the Marins in the Lasat region, and that's essentially how I was able to get pretty high leveled really fast. I know the chest was above us. Eh, crap. So yeah, so those Marins, they provide a lot of experience, like an overkill was enough for a full level up, five levels above them. Very nice for grinding. Alright then. Oh, it was right here all along. Hooray! Alright, openy openy. So yeah, the reason why I was farming those guys a lot was primarily for the um uh meat they provide, as it is required. I guess I'll just fall. So yeah, so the meat they drop is required for sight is required for some farming. All right then. So I'm falling down here. Ah, oh, you can't attack me. Hooray for level differences! Yeah, the reason why I was farming them just for those beast meat items because they're required for some things. That's primarily the point. All right then, some battery chips. Ooh, guess we're really getting charged up. The last thing before we get started on side quest is going to be the Lasaria region and something I forgot. I literally just remembered just now that I discovered last night when I was doing my epic grind. Here at Porton Village. I'm sure there's a lot of people yelling at me, hey you forgot a slab. Yes, I forgot a slab. The first slab you could have collected, the indigo slate piece. I think we're getting pretty quite far for with those slates. So I can only think of like a couple more we can get, and one of them requires me to level up a Geon's Water Mastery a bit more. Alright, and I think that's more or less it. Oh yeah, I have to fall to that. I want to save that one for later. Well, I'm in the region. Not the ideal, but I'll take it. Finally. So this Thank next battle is going to be very rough. What? So this is another Barney Stone. There's only four of these in the game, if memory serves. This is number two. So, bring it on! So we get a bunch of Caterpiles. Alright, not as bad as I thought they were. I thought they were a bit higher level. So Caterpiles first wave and just a bunch of these. Go nuts, have fun. It's not like we're going to be doing enemy gauntlets in the near future or anything. Oh no. Alright then. Alright, first wave is done. Second wave, some brogs. Alright then. Go ahead and get some blazing in. Alright then. Twin Serpents. Alright then. So just finish up this frog and I'll finish up this last wave. Alright then. So next wave is some higher level Ropple. So this was the, high, the uh, hard part I was remembering. So I remember this one being the, one of the harder ones. Ugh. First Cuisine. Always annoying to fight. Alright then. So finish them out. Finish up the Thropple. Very nice indeed. Mono fire. Yeah, no thank you. Alright. 
Alright. And that's it. Alright, cool. I had to do a bit of focusing since that battle can be a bit rough. Alright, mine's I. And my reward for doing all for doing that Barney sound is the secret pot blueprint. Very nice, we get the astronomer's pot. Hooray! Blaze it. So I guess while I'm thinking about it, go on, go on ahead and craft it since who needs story? Alright. So yeah, so I've been doing a lot of farming for that stuff. I, if I remember, future me if you remember, put the link to where you can actually farm like all the items. So I'm using a bit of, a, bit of a uh, checklist that tells you how to farm pretty much everything. And that was very convenient, so increases item discovery rate, very nice indeed. Alright, next up, do I want to do Gormot cleanup? Eh. Let's do a letter cleanup first. So here in the letter, there's two side quests we can do. Alright, our Let's first on one then. is um, Erith. Say, have you met a soldier called McNeth by any chance? He is my subordinate, but he's gone AWOL. I swear, he never stuck me as the type to just leave. I thought he had more integrity than that. If you hear any news, no matter how it's revealed, could you let me know? No ships have left the harbor lately, so I imagine he's still in Torna. Maybe he left for the capital. Maybe he just lost his way, at least. Let's hope so. So we have duplicity. I hope we'll be able to help. Alright then. I'll set that as the active quest. And our next mission. Um Chief Gormadi Overseer. I might do Gormat cleanup. It wasn't the side quest I was thinking it would be. If I remember right, we have to head back to Gormot for that. Let's Which I don't mind. On, so up here we get ourselves the pure kid Benny. You helped my dad out before, right? Thanks. My mom and dad were so happy they made me an extra big dinner. It was so good. When I get big, I'm going to be strong enough to help people just like you. Then I'm going to learn archery from my dad. Alright. Free community gained. Always oh, very nice. Alright then. So it's been on my uh, docket for a while. So, next thing. Monster Granny. I'm trying to compile an encyclopedia of unique monsters from across all the rest. I've journeyed through Coesia, Mother Dane Lathere, Uriah, and Estham, and now I'm here. The main titans I have yet to cover are Torna and Gormot. There's just one problem. It's tricky to gather info about unique monsters because there aren't many warriors strong enough to handle them. Still, I'm determined to complete this encyclopedia no matter how many decades it takes. The only question is whether I'll kick the bucket before it's done. Now with that all out of the way, let's have you help out, shall we? Okay, to the best extent of my knowledge, there are 16 unique monsters left I have yet to gather notes on. If you see big monsters with peculiar names out in your travels, that'll be one of the unique, I'm pretty sure, as anything. Now, they're pretty dangerous, mind. If I thrust that strapping young heroes like you, it can make my dream come true. Alright, so, if you want to get Monster Granny Martha, you require to be all the unique monsters. One issue, though, is that you cannot complete this until the final level. Because in the final area is the last unique monster. So we'll be able to get 50 on a 16, so... Heading on oh, towards this, uh, this shed. Totally shady. Wait. Something wrong? He's there. Enough hiding. Come out and face us. Is that an Ordanian soldier? What are you doing here, man? Apologies, Mom. I got turned around. First time in Torna, you see. I lost our Danian soldier. Now, where have I heard that before? Ah, could you be Macneth from Idris' unit? Oh, yeah, that was it. Idris really worried about you, you know? Um, did you hear me? 
Looks like there's no fool in you. Nothing for it. I can make my escape over your dead bodies. Well, it seems McNeth has been turncoat. Well, time for the the Emperor to, uh... I guess... Do... We'll bring it in. Alright then. So think you can take me. I doubt it. Alright then. Let's speed this up indeed. So not terrible of, of a enemy. All right, get finished, Sean. It's my turn. I found a Koean encryption device on this man. A spy, then, I see. An Ardadian citizen, plotting together with Koea. Death is all he deserves. Wait, you were tracking me down, and you didn't even know that? We weren't tracking you down to begin with. Our Danian troops have been rounding up the Koean re remnants, wherever they find them. Perhaps this comes since he would be found out soon and decided to run. Why, thanks for the compliment. However, I'd refrain from making it sound like it's a done deal if I were you. Or don't actually, stay carefree. All the easier for us to sweep you, your legs from under you. Ahahaha! <laughs> I'm glad you're in high spirits, friend. But have you considered taking your current predicament more seriously? Bah. I'm not about to be lectured by some pretty little torn and princeling. Adam, would you, like us, would you let us take charge? Uh, sure, go right ahead, but what are you planning to do? Bridget, Ajion, we cannot suffer a caught spy to live. Please handle it in a prescribed way, and do be thorough. Wait, you can't be serious. You can't be serious. I'm sorry, Laura. You don't have to look. Ah! Ow! How humiliating! He wouldn't keep still, so it, so it took some doing. And yet, the result speaks for itself. Super... Superb work, Bridget. Have you been practicing? Are you taking the... Mick? What the hell is this? I told you, did I not? A captured spy cannot be allowed to live. Henceforth, you will not be allowed to use McNeth's name. Starting today, he will be no more. So what? I just become someone else? You must be soft in the head. You needn't worry. You look much better this way. What the hell are you on about? Stop mocking me. You know that's not what I meant. Be silent. You insist... Sorry, you insult not only my land, but also my friends. You think I'd overlook it. Be glad you still draw breath. In case you haven't noticed, Hugo gets a bit scary when he's angry. I know not of your overseers are actually Koean, or, or simply looking to misdirect our ire. I do know, however, is that no overseer would let a captured spy remain in enemy hands. From now, you'll be a follower of Adam. That should serve as sufficient cover, don't you think? You're, you're helping me. We all have our roles to play in life's rich stage. We, we simply want you to be able to keep playing yours. Can you take us from here, Adam? Will do, friend. I'll make a space for him in the capital. I'm sorry, did we just press gang the poor bastard? If it had been our aim for the start, we will have many more prisoners waiting. But if I... But what I'm after is the information he has. One day I may need it. That's why I'm giving him to Adam. Well then, in the meantime, we should go and report back on all this. But what do you, we even say? We can say that, sadly, Blood Crazed Wild Beast got to him before we did. He gave his life for Ardanian honor. That's a truly unsettling smile, Hugo. 
Who knew that Hugo would be so savage? Meh, meh, meh. Alright then, so... Let's go on ahead and turn this quest in. I don't know, this side quest I kinda like. The only downside though is that my voice is getting rather hoarse. Alright. The duty is done. McNeth is dead. Done in by wild beasts. I see, he was a bit thin. And not the strongest fighter. Against an enemy like that, he didn't stand a chance. But why did he have to go alone? What was he thinking? Why? Well, no use crying over it. Sadness won't bring him back. I'll just have to keep going for him. You'll get. I'll get back to my duties now. Thank you for bringing me the news, such as it was. Yeah, join the community and totally ignore the person that happens to be once named Mac Macbeth. All right then. So very nice indeed. So we have completed duplicity. Great. All right then. So we get so we and style fry up and some other items. Pretty nice. So next up, we have ourselves the uh, Chief Gormadi Overseer. Oh, what could be happening? Going sorry, what could ha be happening over there? I just can't go off, can I? What's wrong, Edwin? You look troubled, Lord Adam. No, it's just that. Uh, no, sorry, nothing's wrong. You definitely sound like something was wrong when you were mumbling to yourself a minute ago. Just spill it, man. Nothing gets past you, Lord. I'm just worried about causing you extra hassle, Lord. I don't want to burden you unnecessarily, I mean. That isn't for you to worry about. Go on now, let's hear it. If you say so, well, it is, is... Is that my wife and kids are still back in Gormat, you see? But you hear all kinds of troubling news out in the motherland lately. So, you can probably understand why I'm worried. At the same time, I'm the Chief Gormati Overseer here. It's not like I can go check on them myself. But you would've been there, haven't you, Lord? How's the situation? You've asked a hard question, friend. So we and Remnant troops have looted a number of villages there, it's true. Some were hit quite hard. I understand how you feel. If it was me, and Aletta was in that kind of piteous circumstance, I too couldn't rest easy. Thank, thank you for saying so, Lord. Well, so long as my village of Torgoth is well, I give the Architect my thanks. Torgoth. Adam, we have to tell him the truth. Torgoth was burned to cinders. Th that's impossible! Kelly! Kelly! And Nelly, I, I can't believe it. Kelly and Kelly, you said. Are those your children's names? Yes, Lord, but how did you? We've met a Kelly and Kelly during our travels. They were unharmed and awaiting their father to come and get them. Oh, thank goodness. Lord Adam, what wh would you? Of course, Edwin. I'll bring your little ones back to you. Oh, Lord Adam. Thank you. Thank you so much. And? Well, so Edwin was the father of Callie and Kelly we're talking about. They were in the Sagal Fell encampment, weren't they? Well remembered. Let us hurry, then. So we have thicker than water. Alright then. Here. And set this as our active quest. Alright then, so now we get to head back to Gormot. Hence why I was saving uh completion for now. There's not really too much left in Gormot. We'll be visiting here now and then, but for the most part, most of the side quests are going to be in Torna. You remember our destination. So the reason why I am here is that there is a side quest available in the Ardanian base, which we will also knock out at the same time. Multitasking! Hooray! So, inside here we have ourselves Viant Horson. My lords and ladies, I'm sorry to trouble you, but I was wondering if you could help me with something. What with your majesty and Prince Adam on our campaign? It was... It has been decided that I will confer with a special envoy from Gormont. 
Given that our Danian Titan has been showing signs of decline, it's important that we act now. Now, I plan to enter my opinion on the future of both our countries. Our conference was to be aboard this flagship, and with sorry, and the envoy was to come with the White Shirt of Gormont, but he has not arrived. To get here from the White Chair, it's necessary to pass through the Hori Weld, a dangerous place. We assume something has happened to the Envoy though. However, we do not have the military resources to mount a full search of the Hori Weld. Therefore, I thought I might burden you with the request. Please, go to the Hori Weld and search for the Gomati Special Envoy. Sorry for the sudden request, but I would not trouble you if I had any other option. Alright, so we have sweetest tidings that we're going to do at the same time. So, we'll be doing things one thing at a time. So our destination is going to be at the Hidden Hunting Camp. And here, um, I don't see anyone. I thought Kelly and Kelly would be here. But they're not. Not anymore, at least. There are signs of... That indicates someone left here in a hurry. Sorry, could it have been those two? Let's try and find out. Alright then. And this gets to something new. That we haven't got to before in, in Xenoblade 2. Torna. Is that we have to follow footprints. However though. In the main game. If there were footprints. There would be a quest marker showing where they would end. Here, you actually have to search where they go. You follow it along, and you just call it good. I like that about this game, just... The fact that you don't have the free giveaway. The fact that you actually have to search it out. I really like it. It's really nice and dandy. And while we are in the neighborhood, we have hand ringing Bigelow here. He's half our level. I'll be playing my electric guitar over your grave. Alright, he was easy. Down he goes, carrying on. So, our next destination, while we are in the area, just for op optimization's sake, is going to be up here towards the top. And not the best way to take, but I will take it. The reason why is because there is a super useful thing up here. If you're willing to struggle for it. And that's an area we haven't actually gone to yet. Located up here, some level 20 to 30 monsters. I've been more or less holding off on this area for a while, but now is a good time to explore it. Some level 30 enemies. Probably could have done this in the last visit, but meh. And excavation, which we can do. Well done. All right. And inside this little chest, we get ourselves some um, evasion focus. It's alright, I guess. The real reason why is because, if we remember the main game, there was something really good up here at the very top. So what would happen if you visit this 500 years in the past? How would this stuff change? Well, if we reach it. If. The house that's here in the future isn't here. And heading inside this little cave system. Reaching the very end. We're going to arrive at the depths of ignorance. My hopes are high for this one. Not what you would expect. I guess this would fall away in the future. But I'll take it. Other things from here. Some mineralogy. Very nice. A treasure chest that we could have got a long time ago. Eh, spike defense. Kinda meh. So, the other reason why I came up here wasn't for this. This was the aunt, was the uh, secondary goal. The real goal, though, lies down here. And a Jean plummeted to his death. So, upon following this pathway, for those who have played this game know, they will know what I'm going after. I feel confident, then again, I've had some rough times before in this game. 
I shouldn't be holding my breath, so here we get ourselves some Turkins. This is a mini Turkin colony. With enemies in the 30s, not too bad. Heading on into the back, though, we have ourselves some level 40s at the Saints Practice Ground. And inside the cave here, if it will come to it, we get level 45, Erratic Go Goliante. Rotfart's great 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 grandfather. You know what this means. Time to start a time paradox by going after not him. So yes. Take out the ads first. That's going to save your life for the boss. Alright then. Probably going to be awakening up. There we go. So the Rotfart. He sucks. He has all your annoying Rotbart characteristics. Except he doesn't patrol the place. Alright then. So once again, focus on the ads. Just so that way they won't be in your way. Though, um, Yoliante is your primary threat. Just take him out now. Wings of the Albatross. So, Radigoliante. What's fun about him? The answer lies after you beat him. So reset punch. Ugh. So yeah, so Venom Cloud inflicts stent can be annoying. There's a lot of annoying stuff with Goliante. I know that he has a bit of health, but it's relatively low. I don't know. I don't find him the hardest unique monster, but he can be a bit challenging. Oh, there was a Kamehameha. Alright then. So back to the Wild Wave. Was able to save up a level 4 special. Oh, nice and dandy. Hooray! So things are back on track. Thank you, me. No Venom Burst Cloud for you. Yeah, this... Oh, almost full burst. So yeah, so I've been having a lot of trouble. But thankfully things are finally underway. Alright then. And Adam. Which one am I going for next time? Earth. Alright then. Things are under control, so... More or less, this has been... All caught up. Alright then. Next step, go for Jen. Alright then. And the next up, um, item so that way I can start chaining up my things even more. Alright, it's GG time. So, starting up with Xeon. And get dunked on. Enter full burst mode. 1666. Alright then. Sorry, Bridget! I prefer dodge tanking. I like my actual arts. Alright then. So the reason why Erratic Goliante is super nice is his drops. You got Hail Strike level 4, Blazing Braids and all that stuff. So the reason why I consider him worth your while is for his drops. Seismic Sword. I like to have the I they um pretty much keep the driver's um elements the same throughout the time. Seismic sword at its maximum capacity. Erratic Goliante drops every driver's ultimate weapon. So much so I actually don't need to farm them. That was actually really good RNG. Hooray! That's literally everything. Electric Great Sword So yeah, I never upgrade my weapons because I like to keep their elements the same. Blades, they can't switch. Drivers, they can't switch their element. So I just like to keep everyone consistent, and it all works out. Hence, worth your while. Alright then. And looking at the rewards that this miniature Rotbart's great-grandfather was... My hopes are high for this one. Eh, some good stuff. Some additional uh, green barrels, so... My hopes are high for it helps make up for the... Uh, I guess, um, trying to think. 
I guess some leeway in terms of how much barrels you have to break. Because there's a few barrels that we don't have access to yet. I've always wanted to do this. So, all worth the time. Alright then. And the last green barrel. Yeah, some money. All around, very nice. So that was Erratic Goliante. Worth your while to do. In case you love your ultimate weapon, so... Time to go back to side questing for real this time, instead of getting distracted by unique monsters. Our destination, just skipping right to the end, is right down in here. Yeah, I already knew what the end goal was. No need to follow him, because the footprints lead right back here. Um, hello there. We are at the Grand Arbor's Embrace. Inside here, some random stuff. Oh, you guys are from before. We got chased around by Turkins. We ended up here. I'm glad we found you, though it did take us a while. Kelly and I have been talking. Since our dad hasn't been coming and living the camp life with just the two of us was getting too hard. We thought next time we'd run into you, we'd ask you guys to take us with you to Moradain. I guess we could have left some notes on the camp for Torigoth for Dad to find us, but... For all I know, he might be dead, and dead folks aren't great at reading. Oh, come on. I'm pouring my heart into... Pouring my heart out... You here? What are you smirking for? What? Follow you and I'll see. Okay, sure. Lead on, then. And with this... We aren't going to be completing that side quest yet, so our next destination is going to be up here in the Highlands. As this is our next destination. So here we get ourselves the White Shirt Envoy, Hal Jark. You've come at the right time. I could have used some skilled adventurers like you. I'm Hal Jark, now headed for Arde the Ardenian Worship anchored at Lastum Cove. But I've left the White Shirt in a hurry and forgot to bring any gifts. I've sent my attendants out to get some Melosian honey, which is famed around these parts, but they're still nowhere to be seen. This is worrying, the forest is full of danger, and I couldn't go searching for them even if I wanted to. But now that you're here, do you think you could bring back my attendants who have gone to collect the Melosian honey? You'll be doing us a great service. Alright then. So, before we head on out, I want to go ahead and check everyone's affinity charts. Mithra is getting close to level 5, and then, during that battle, I guess, on the way back, I was building up some party gauge. Level 5. Very nice. So make every item that Jin can craft. You are going to have to craft one of every item. That is the end of it. And then, mineralogy, meet characters from the community list. We will get there slowly. And the last one, walk a lot. Alright, so... If I have to hold up with a control stick for a millennium, then I will do it, for the sake of fortitude. As that's the last thing we need to be in order to open up everything. So, maximum trust with Jin. Alright then. So here at the uh, Melosian Honey Pits, our destination is going to be at the back. Help! This must be the special envoy's attendance. Let's take out those skeeters and rescue them. My thoughts exactly. Alright then, so we have a bunch of skeeters we gotta take on. In an arena! You heard me saying that there's a lot of arenas? Yeah. Alright then. Let's go on ahead and just take things out. So this is the end of the first wave. And, there's more of them! So yeah, so, enemy gauntlets. Me seeing that there's a lot of them coming up. This is what I was talking about. At least with enemy gauntlets, these enemies don't really have too much health, and you can just see how fast combat can be. And how fun turning combat can be. As long as you're not getting Elemental Awakened Kamehameha to death. Just all this chaos. It's what I live for. Alright then. Alright. Go ahead for the special, since I don't use Bridget enough. Alright. All these Skeeters. Looks like I'm not going to be needing my Skeeter stuff after all. 
All right, then. Well, that's all of them. Went down with these. You saved our lives. Thank you. Did you find the Melodian honey you, was, you sought? What? What are you asking? The special envoy sent us. Ah. Melodian honey is pretty valuable, and this is the only place in Gorma it can be gathered. The special envoy insists we needed some to give to the Ardanians. I'd also be interested in finding out how delicious it is, but I value people's safety over anything else. Uh, th thank you for your understanding. This youth seems more capable of leadership than Mr. Dark. We ask another s we risk another Skeeter attack if we remain here. You're right. Let us go back to the special envoy. All right then. So back we go. Some lotion honey you can find there for some items. Do this if you want. Wow. It pays to do, to work on stuff. All right then. Thank you for helping out my attendants. If we were without presence, it would be a diplomatic, f sorry, faux pas, which could have offended the Danians and lead to war. Very well. We shall we will depart soon. Now that I have my attendants with me. I should arrive at Lastrum Cove much quicker. Well then, we better be off. Farewell. Alright then. So away we go. Gotta head back to the ship and well, I'll see you guys there. So. While I'm here, hello there, beautiful chest. Open and, and reveal thine secrets. Movement heal. That stuff's crap. Level 2. I'm starting to get into level 3 and some level 4 stuff. Please. Alright then, so let's turn in this quest. Your Highness, everyone, you have my thanks. The Gormadi Special Envoy have arrived safely. Now the conference can begin. I'm glad to hear it. There are the Soian troops and the Aegis. Not to mention the state of affairs in Mordain and Gormat. Other seems to be heading for an, a period of unrest. We should, we would like to hear your opinions on working together to overcome the hardships facing our two countries. It will be done, Your Majesty. And later, you can give us your impressions on the Melosian hunting that was so difficult to obtain. Honey, what's this all about? Mm. All right, so we got two more community. Well done us. Hooray! Well done us. How reliable. Very nice. And only three left. Oh gee, I wonder if this was routed in such a way that I'll get the next three at the end of the episode. It has been a I'll be honest, this was completely coincidental. But with that all done, let's go on ahead and, and reunite the family. Head for Aletta Harbor. Oh different. Oh wow, Mether's level 5. Why we're here again? Everything is falling into place. Alright then. Hooray! Hey, if it makes my life easier. Yeah, it will make your life easier. So at this, we need to jump a lot for more power of light. Very much done. And then, girls talk. Gain community. I will get to this uh, later. This is super interesting. I wanted to, uh... Talk about a later point in time. Alright then. So, Hayes is also level 5. Alright. And that was Master Ether, I'm right? Gonna... Yeah, so I just need to jump a lot between episodes. Hooray! Everyone's affinity charts are getting filled up quite nicely. I wish only to you. Alright then. I wouldn't be surprised that this um finishes things up. Hello there. Is this Mordain? Looks different than I imagined. No, this is Aletta, a province of Torna. Why'd you bring us here? Well... That's why. Duh! Golly! Golly! I'm so glad you're alright. We miss you, Duh. All's well that ends well. I'm so <laughs> glad we got to help out. Are you crying again?
Lord Adam, thank you for your kindness you have shown me and my family. Nonsense, I'm terribly sorry about your wife. Thank you. But I still have my children. And they're... Sorry, they're more than I would have had without your help. Together, we'll, we'll take care of each other and honor Nellie's memory. Excellent, just take it easy. You need to give yourself some time to grieve, too. You too, Lord Adam. I know you're the type to put your life on the line for others, but do take care of yourself. He'll be fine. Sorry, he's got all of us here doing his work for him. I'd say he's been taking it pretty easy. Ah, nice job. Thanks, mister. Thanks, miss, and everyone. I'll be living here from now, so come and play sometime. Sure thing, Kelly. See you, Kelly. Stay out of trouble now. And we have reunited the family. A very nice and heartwarming conclusion. How reliable. Very nice. So, I do only what is with that all done, community level up. We are now level three, and with this, um, no new side quest, but a lot will open up really soon. All right then. So we have completed thicker than water. Good enough for you. Some pretty decent items, all things considered. And wonderful pop. No. Nope. All right, cool. So I guess doing one last rest to conclude the episode off. Just looking at our new items. Here in Mithra, we have ourselves caramelized seafood. As you can see, you are going to need to craft everything, so... Hooray! So we get the suey and fry up. I think that was it. At least I do believe so. Looks... Wait, there was one more. Mechanical charm. You don't necessarily need to do it for um uh laura the drivers you don't really need to laura's probably the uh least useful of the lot because the others you get some active battle stuff but it's really nice to have so with that we made some very good progress this episode we managed to reunite a family and yeah a family's been reunited we explored more gormot got ourselves pretty much ultimate weapons and next time in Xenoblade Chronicles 2, Torn of the Golden Country. Dare I need to say what we'll be doing? You know what we'll be doing. Even the evil monster in the background knows what we'll be doing. Eh, the monster won't like it. I will see you guys then.